Hey guys, I'm Natasha Tessier, owner of Dwell Realty Design. Welcome to my channel. Today, I wanna have a little coffee with you and talk about which city in Texas makes most sense for you to move to. Listen up. Hey guys, I'm Natasha Tessier. I am born and raised in the state of Texas. I love it here especially everything that's going on in the country. I'm very blessed to live here. I love to help others. I want you to know a little bit about me. I have been married for over 20 years to a wonderful man that I met in college. We met as river rafting guides on the Arkansas River in Colorado. We both went to CU Boulder, no buffs lately. <laughs> We've had a bad college year for a while, but now our buffs are finally coming back. But anyway, I have we have three kids. One is a freshman at Baylor, hence we go to the Baylor football games. He plays football there, my Baylor Bears t-shirt. He's a freshman there, just graduated in May from Lake Creek High School, and he's a freshman football player at Baylor. And then I have a junior in high school. He's a huge golfer. He probably spends 12 hours a day at the golf course and loves every second of it. And then I have a seventh grade girl who is at Oak Hills, who is a big volleyball player. So all my kids love sports. We love going to all their sports and supporting them. It's super fun. That is a little bit about me. I would love to know about you. I have a lot of new subscribers here and I don't know a lot of you guys. So I would love to hear where you're from even if you're just local and thinking you need a change or you know maybe you need to sell your house maybe you need to know more about the state i'm a pretty honest person love to get to know you please comment below and just tell me who you are today i want to go over the four major cities where people are moving to and kind of help you figure out what would fit you best and why so i'm going to go through and kind of describe each city and what they're known for and then I thought we'd kind of do some comparison on affordability and weather and things like that. Okay, sorry. It's still kind of early here in Texas and I'm it's Monday morning and I'm trying to wake up. So, okay, so let's start with Austin. It's known for its music scene. It's often called the live music capital of the world. And it's got a lot of creative life going on there. Sixth Street is really, really amazing. There's a lot of art, a lot of culture, kind of a, an eclectic atmosphere is what I would describe it as. You've got your tech hub there. So a lot of people call it Silicon Hills, but that's also kind of moving to, we've heard Silicon Bayou now coming towards Houston. Houston, so a lot of that tech is moving to Houston, I think because of affordability, because Austin has gotten pretty expensive, but it has a huge growing technology sector, lots of startup tech companies. You've got Tesla and a ton of people taking their businesses to Austin. I've done a whole video on that, that you could look for that talks about all the different companies moving their companies to Texas, but lots of tech firms. And then Austin is beautiful. I am not going to lie. I couldn't live there, but it is absolutely gorgeous. You've got Lake LBJ, which a lot of people in the different suburb or different cities around, you know, have lake houses where they keep their boats in Austin. So you've got Lake LBJ, you've got Lake Travis. Austin has a beautiful river running right through the town. It's actually a nice river, not like the Buffalo Bayou, which is kind of muddy and not as pretty. You've got Barton Springs pools, lots of outdoor recreational opportunities in Austin. People love to hike and bike and be outside. It is really, really probably one of the prettiest cities in my opinion. There are hills and it is beautiful. One of the downsides right now for Austin is it's gotten really expensive and, it, and the traffic has gotten really Really bad so it's kind of a growing concern for some people and we'll kind of compare that to different cities next let's talk about houston houston is known for its economic diversity so you've got an, a, a really diverse economy you've got a lot of industry here so you've got your energy you've got a lot of healthcare. obviously with the it's got the biggest healthcare center downtown i think in the nation maybe in the world i'm not really sure you've got aerospace you've got your port of houston that a lot of people work off of and it's you know one of the busiest ports in in the u.s so that's pretty that brings a lot of industry and then like i said tech and different things are moving to the area so i mean we've got amazon's moved here every time you turn around there's a new 
a corporation that has moved to Texas. So with healthcare, construction is actually one of our biggest industries in Houston right now because of all the growth. So anyway, lots of industry. And then you've got a lot of cultural diversity. Houston has been named as one of the most diverse cities in the country. You know, you've got a really rich culinary scene. You've got a lot of cultural attractions. I have a lot of families that, well, like my dad, for example, he's from Serbia and he has a ton of Serbian friends. He has a Serbian church. I have another family from California that has reached out to me that's French and they've got a, a whole French culture here. So it's very, very diverse. And I think it's really cool that you can go and find, you know, people of, of the same nature as you and, and be able to, you know, spend time with them. My dad has, like I said, a ton of Serbian friends. They get together very often and it's very cool. It's a very diverse city. Of course, you've got, you know, your space and science. You've got the Nassau Space Center. It's got a strong presence, you know, for the space exploration, the science, all that stuff, which is really cool. And then of course, healthcare too. Just a lot of people come, unfortunately, for MD Anderson, but that whole downtown, the Houston healthcare system is huge. And a lot of people come here you know, whether that's for surgery or for care or whatever. And the cool thing about that is the suburbs all have those hospitals as well. So Conroe has hospitals. The Woodlands has five or six hospitals. I mean, they've got St. Luke's, Methodist, Memorial Hermann, Texas Children's, all huge hospitals. Katy, I mean, everybody kind of has their own. So you don't even have to go all the way into the city anymore to do that, which is really cool. One of the downsides of Houston is the flooding risk. A lot of people freak out about it. I've never sold a flooded home. There's plenty of homes that have not flooded, but if it's flooded, a lot of people still are willing to buy, especially if it just flooded during Harvey because that was our thousand year storm. We've never had that much rain. So, but flooding can be a risk, especially as you get further into the city and it's flatter out here where we are, we're in the hills and it's not quite as common, but it can be a risk. Okay, so let's talk about Dallas. Dallas is, you know, it's got a, a ton of major businesses and a lot of financial businesses. It's got a big corporate sector and it has quite a bit a significant amount of Fortune 500 companies. So Dallas is more of your financial kind of draw to the city. And then as far as the city, it has that Dallas has an arts district and lots of museums and theaters. I, I didn't mention that Houston does too. Houston Museum of Arts. There's a lot of Broadway shows here, all that stuff. Dallas has that as well. And Dallas has the home of the Cowboys and the Mavericks. So a lot of people, big Cowboys fans, I'm not, but a lot of people are. I'm not, I, I like college sports way more than, than professional. So I don't watch a ton of professional sports, but Dallas has those. Again, I didn't mention people are diehard Astros fans. And of course we have the Rockets and the Texans as well. So you've got sports teams in both of those, whereas like Austin, you don't have any of that. You don't have any major sports teams in the city of Austin. So that's kind of a cool draw to those bigger cities. And then of course, San Antonio just has the San Antonio Spurs. It doesn't have football or baseball. Dallas has grown quite a bit. One thing I think that's cool about Dallas is it tends to be a little bit cleaner. Although Houston is cleaned up a lot downtown since I was little, but it's a clean city. It doesn't have all the trees. It's kind of flat. It doesn't have the hills that, that you have here in Montgomery. And then there's even more of those hills in the hill country, obviously. And there, so it's, it's kind of flat and there's not a lot of trees, but it is, it does get, you know, a little bit more of a winter. So if you like snow and things like that, does have the risk of tornado. It is in Tornado Alley, which is north of us, but it does have winter there. So if you like to get, you know, two or three snows, chances are in Dallas, they usually get that. Some winters are more mild, but they do get, here we don't really get any snow. We're lucky. Our kids freak out if it snows. It's like once every 10 years. So, okay. And then the last city I want to talk about is San Antonio. It's it's a really historic city. You've obviously got the Alamo and the Spanish missions, which are really, really cool to walk through. It's got kind of got a unique blend of, you know, of the different history and a little bit of modern vibe to it as well. A lot of downtown San Antonio has changed. The Riverwalk is super cool. The Pearl Brewery and all that area is very, very cool to go visit. There's a lot of tourist attractions there because like I said, you have the Riverwalk and then you've got Fiesta Texas, which is like a Six Flags. 
You've got SeaWorld, which is also really cool in San Antonio. And then we like to go every summer. There's several, the Hyatt Hill Country or the JW Marriott, kind of family friendly, huge resorts with, you know, lazy river pools and things like that. So that's also really cool. You've got a huge military presence in San Antonio. My husband went to medical school there and is a big, there's military hospitals, lots of military bases. So there is a huge military presence and several, you know, military institutions, obviously. And then you've got a huge Hispanic heritage influence in the city of San Antonio. And that's very reflected in, you know, its culture, obviously really good Mexican food and festivities. You know, you they do a really big deal for Cinco de Mayo on, I think the kids when they were little might have even had school off that day. So it's got a really rich Hispanic culture and that's very, very cool to kind of get that vibe going on. Okay, so then I thought those are kind of a little rundown of each of them. I thought I would compare, let's talk about cost of living. So I'm gonna kind of categorize them. Austin is obviously going to be your most expensive city to live in. It's gotten really, really expensive. I think the prices are coming. They're they're seeing, in my opinion, more of a correction than the others because they skyrocketed so high during COVID. But it still is way more expensive. You do not get as much bang for your buck in Austin. In Dallas and Houston, I think they're a little similar. I think Dallas is a little bit more expensive than us, but not much. We're still probably have a lot more master plan communities and in Houston and very family friendly here. So you've got a lot of different communities where, you know, it's a lot of different families kind of raising kids in Dallas too, but I would say you have more of the master plan communities down here. And then um, San Antonio is going to be your most affordable. And as you move out, there's some really cool suburbs. I have a great agent out in the Bulverde Bernie area. I have an agent in Dallas, an agent in Houston. I trust all of them. I love them. They work hard like me. They're honest. So if you need their names, just message me and I'm happy to get you in contact with them so that you have a good experience. I can't tell you how many people don't research their agent and they don't know that, you know, this might be their second home to sell and they don't know how to negotiate and they don't know how to do a bunch of things. So if you need help finding an agent, message me, text me, call me, email me. I will answer you and I will get you an agent wherever is needed if it's not here. Okay, so that's kind of the affordability. Let's talk about weather. I kind of touched on this. So Houston, you're going to have Galveston right here. So a lot of people have beach houses and different things 45 minutes from hour from where they live. They spend the weekends down there. They bay fish. They, you know, have good seafood. They walk the Galveston Strand. They go to Moody Gardens, all the fun things to do. There's, it's really cool down in Galveston. The water's not super pretty. The further you go south, the prettier it's going to get in Texas. So Port Aransas, those kind of things have even nicer water, but it's closer if you're, you know, right here in Galveston. However, with that comes humidity. So Houston is gonna be the most humid of the four. There's no question. It is really, really humid here. Not all the time though. So, you know, a lot of people are like, oh my God, that was gonna be humid. It is when a rainstorm blows through, but then it might be 40% or 20%. Today, it is absolutely gorgeous out. I don't know the humidity, I didn't check it, but it's cool. It was a cool September morning. No matter where you are in Texas, it's hot. And this summer especially was the hottest I've ever encountered or remembered. So it was really, really hot. We normally in Houston only have, you know, four or five days over a hundred. I don't even know. I mean, it had to be 60 or something. It was really hot. We had no rain to cool us off. It was a long summer, but we're done. Kind of broke through last week and we're getting down to our 68 degree nights and cool mornings. And then it'll be like low nineties and it's gonna be nice now until like May or June of next year. We will get cold though. It does get down in the thirties here. And like I said, San Antonio is gonna be even cooler. So Houston's gonna be the most humid. Dallas is gonna be the coldest of the four communities because it's further north. They also do get tornadoes. We do get hurricanes this far out. It's not that big of a deal. I've never sold a flooded house. Of course, things can happen, but 
there's plenty of homes that don't flood, are in the flood zone, all those things that's not to worry about. And then San Antonio and Austin both have very similar climates. They're drier, more of a deserty type of climate. They, Houston obviously is the greenest with the most trees, but they have the most hills because it's the hill country. So, and then a drier climate. So it cools off at night in those areas. My sister lives out in Blanco and loves, she can't stand the humidity. So it kind of just depends on what you like. I think to know that Texas is hot no matter what, you know, if you want to be near the coast, Houston might be for you. If you want to be further away and kind of drier, then you might want to lean more towards San Antonio or something like that. Let's talk about the vibe in these different cities. So I talked about Houston being very culturally diverse and it is lots of different cuisine, lots of different five-star, the, the cuisine and the, the Houston food is kind of known for great food, great atmosphere. And so down in the Heights area, you know, if you're single or kind of a young family, a lot of people will live down there. You can kind of walk to everything, kind of a cool vibe. But like I said before, a lot of families in the Houston area. The Woodlands is really diverse. It's not quite as diverse the further out that you go, but lots and lots of families. In Montgomery, I mean, there's, it's a lot of churches. There's a lot of prayer, you know, before football games and things like that. So it's definitely more conservative out in the Montgomery area. Montgomery has been known to be the most conservative county in the state. So if that's something that you're looking for, then that might be a, a spot for you. Dallas, like I said before, is kind of a clean, cleaner city and good nightlife. They're very similar, I would say, in their nightlife and those kind of things. Austin, you've got 6th Street, you've got lots of bars, lots of music industry in Austin, lots of different, you know, it's really, really culturally diverse. Although Woodlands is cool because you'll sometimes have, you know, music in the park and then you've got the Woodlands Mitchell Pavilion. So the Woodlands is cool as well, but as a city, you know, Austin is known for its, its music and cultural, it's just, Austin is known for its music and all the things that that involves. And then San Antonio is gonna be more of your kind of river walk. Like I said, Cinco de Mayo, that kind of vibe so all different vibes in the different cities all unique but I love all of them they're really cool so the last thing that are, so I went over the weather I kind of went over the vibes I went over affordability the last thing is maybe you're looking for work in different areas and I kind of alluded to this a little bit but Houston you've got tech moving in they're calling it the silicone bayou but there also is a lot of healthcare. A lot of restaurants, construction is huge right now. So if you're in the construction industry, there's a lot of growth. And just to a, a side note, there's a lot of really good deals going at these new construction because they've kind of built them up. And then the, obviously, you know, sales have dropped. So if you're one of those people that's trying to get a good deal, maybe you're going to be at that higher rate for a year or so. I would say from like September to December would be the time to lock that in because some of them are getting 75,000 off. They're actually buying down the rates for clients. I mean, there's a lot happening. I can help negotiate all that for you. That's just a side note. Okay, so that's kind of the industry in Houston. Like I said, big financial industry in the Dallas area. So if that's kind of what you're into, the, the finances, then that might be a good spot for you. You've obviously got a ton of tech in the Austin area. And then San Antonio, again, is a lot of military. Obviously, you've got a lot of good restaurants and different things like that, but that's kind of the industry there. So I wanna be a resource to you. I wanna help you decide where is the best place for you. I'm happy to chat with you on the phone, set up a Zoom, whatever you wanna do. I have a form below that you can fill out or you can just call, text me nights, weekends, days. I do this all the time. I love helping people. I would love to get to know you. Please fill out or just comment. Just tell me who you are, where you're from, what you're looking at. I would love to get to know you and I hope that you have a blessed day.